no, little kitty. Leave that locust alone. We need to pack our bags and get out of here before he calls in backup. Backup? You scared of one tiny bug? Not when he's solo. But if he links up with his swarm, they become a force of nature. Fast, hungry and unstoppable. Seriously? Oh yes. So, let me shed some light on one of nature's most infamous flying disasters. The locust swarm infestation. Zoom in! So, what are locusts exactly? Well, they are a type of grasshopper with a twist. Under normal conditions, they live alone and behave peacefully. But when dry weather forces them to gather in small green areas, something strange happens. As they start bumping into each other more often, their brains release a chemical called serotonin. This flips a switch in their behavior, turning calm loners into highly social, hyperactive swarmers in what's called the gregarious phase. When the rain finally returns, it creates perfect breeding conditions, consists of soft soil and plenty of green plants for locusts to lay their eggs. They begin to multiply so rapidly that their population can grow 20 times bigger every two months. These new generations grow up fast and join the swarm, turning into powerful flying insects that can travel over 90 miles, 144.84 kilometers in a single day, devouring every green leaf and crop in sight. Under the right conditions, locusts can become one of the most destructive forces in nature. For thousands of years, from ancient Egypt to today's farmlands in Africa, massive swarms have wiped out crops, triggered food shortages and caused panic in farming communities. One of the most dangerous species is the desert locust. Found in Africa, the Middle East and parts of Asia. During quiet periods, they occupy around 30 countries. But when conditions trigger a full-blown plague, their reach can double, spreading across more than 60 countries and covering up to 20% of the Earth's land surface. Their swarms are just as extreme. A single desert locust swarm can cover up to 460 square miles with between 40 and 80 million locusts packed into less than half a square mile since each locust eats its own weight in plants every day. A swarm that size can consume around 423 million pounds of vegetation daily. What's even more alarming is that these swarms don't just stay in one place. They have been known to fly across oceans and deserts. One swarm in 1988 traveled more than 3,100 miles. That's 4,988.97 kilometers from Africa to the Caribbean. In 2020, a major outbreak hit East Africa, destroying farms in Kenya, Ethiopia and Somalia, putting millions of people at risk of hunger and poverty. So, is there any way to stop them before they cause so much damage? Well, the short answer is, it's tough. These outbreaks often begin in remote deserts where few people live. So by the time swarms are spotted, they are already massive. Still, 
scientists are working on it. They use satellites, weather data and even drones to predict where swarms might form. Countries also try to stop them with aerial spraying of pesticides. But that takes money, fast coordination and decisive action. To make matters worse, climate change is making locust plagues more likely. Warmer oceans lead to more cyclones and rainfall in deserts, creating ideal breeding conditions. As the planet heats up, experts worry that these outbreaks will become more frequent and even harder to control. Trivia time! Did you know a 1 square kilometer swamp about 0.4 square miles can eat as much food in one day as 35,000 people? Also, a typical large swamp might contain 150 billion locusts. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Shravya Solanki. Hope you learned something mind-blowing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Pinox, zooming out. Did you hear that, friend? I think the swarm is coming. Gotcha! Never mind. <laughs>